Windows 10 is here and these updates are always annoying because you have to figure out where they've moved everything. If you want to know how Windows 10 is different from Windows 9, you'll have to ask Windows 8 because there was no Windows 9. We've got to start with the start menu because that disappeared in Windows 8 and Microsoft's customers almost disappeared. Now it's back. And that all familiar E no longer stands for Internet Explorer. They got rid of that. Ish. The E now stands for Edge, but of course so many companies' tools rely on Internet Explorer, so that's still buried in here as well. Cortana is Microsoft's answer to Siri, and after some cameos on mobile devices, she has a starring role on Windows 10. Hey Cortana, who's your daddy? Technically speaking, that'd be Bill Gates. No big deal. One of the biggest headaches in Windows 8 was the separate desktop and tablet tile mode. They've tried to solve that in Windows 10 with a button that allows you to toggle between both. Windows, like lots of companies, is trying to make multitasking easier, and now on Windows 10 you can look at and work from up to four apps all at the same time. So if you're already a Windows fan, but you had a lot of problems with Windows 8, Windows 10 is gonna solve a lot of them. Microsoft says this version of Windows is gonna stick around for a while. We'll see how long it takes them to go from Windows 10 to Windows 12.